back with yet another amazing recipe. Listen, I am so excited. Yet another day. Because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make stir-fried noodles with shrimp. This recipe right here. Get, listen, listen, listen. Get a pen and a pad. <laughs> you want to write this recipe down because it's so easy to make. Doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and if you make a Jeannie Young style, it's gonna be so tasty, hands down. You need this recipe in your life. This recipe is so much fun to make. Jeannie Young's gonna show you how to make it. There's a lovely ingredients you're gonna need. First ingredient you will need would be some broth. Now, I have beef broth there. You don't have to use beef broth. You can use vegetable broth excuse me, even chicken broth, whatever type of broth you have. We will be using a little bit of ketchup. You're going to need some oyster sauce, soy sauce, and sesame oil. You will need some. One second, guys. It's funny how they always call when they know Gina Young is cooking. <laughs> Listen here. You're going to need a really interesting ingredient. This is rice noodles. Now, this package happens to say pad thai noodles, uh, but if you cannot find these in your local market, um, look for rice noodles, okay? So you will need those. You're gonna need some shredded carrots. That's what we have there. You're able to find them in the produce section. And also you're gonna need some shredded cabbage. That was, that's what we have in those two um, ramekins there. We have some garlic powder. We also have one fresh garlic clove, salt and pepper blend, <clears throat> excuse me. And then we also have some beautiful shrimps that I have cleaned off, okay? You're gonna need some baby bok choy, okay? And this is what it looks like, so much flavor. And then you're also going to need some green onions. Now, if you take a look at my pan, you are more than welcome to use a wok and or any type of frying pan. Now, if you take a look into the pan, you'll see that I have some vegetable oil in the pan, okay? Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Jeannie Young's gonna show you an amazing, quick, simple, cost-effective recipe. Cost-effective, really, Gina? Is that what I'm trying to say? I don't know if that's the word that I'm looking for. Maybe I should say budget-friendly because this is pretty... Uh, it didn't cost a lot for these ingredients. Now, when it comes to these rice noodles, we need to put hot water onto the noodles for two minutes and then drain the hot water off of the noodles. Rice noodles are soaking in hot water for two minutes only. Don't go over two minutes. You pour that water off after two minutes is up. Let me know in the comment section below, have you ever had or have you ever made stir-fried noodles? All right. So now, first thing that we're, we're going to do, we're going to take the time to cut up any vegetables or meats that need to be cut up. Because honestly, if you don't like shrimp, you could use chicken or beef or pork for this recipe. So you're going to see that I'm cutting these green onions into, you know, kind of like a slant. I'll pick one up so you can get a good visual. Okay, I'm, I'm recording myself today, so kind of bear with me with the camera action. My husband is at a business meeting making business moves. So I'm going to be recording myself today. All right, I've washed off the bok choy. So what I want to do, I like to cut the ends off. Okay, and then this is what they look like. You can keep them whole or you can just chop them down a little bit like I like to do. Okay, either way you do it, it's just fine. Two minutes is up, let's pour the water off. We have the rice noodles have soaked in, in hot water for two minutes. We poured the water off. We have sliced uh, green onions, sliced bok choy. Now we're going to address the garlic, okay? I like to give it a nice whack just like so. And what that does is it helps to release the skin off of the garlic. Otherwise, you're going to be peeling for days trying to get that skin off. You know, it's like the worst thing in the world. But if you give it a whack, it always comes off with ease. How simple. And now we're going to chop that baby up just like so in this manner. Oh, yeah. 
small pieces. Nobody wants to bite down into a huge piece of garlic. Now that's a great view. I'm heating the pan up so that we can cook our garlic. We're gonna cook this garlic until it gets nice, beautiful, and golden brown. Keep in mind when you're frying garlic, you don't cook it too long. You'll give it a really funny, sour taste, okay? So let's cook this until it gets nice, beautiful, golden brown. Your whole house will be nice and fragrant. And then the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our cabbage. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. If you missed what I said, I was saying. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our shredded cabbage. Now, this just happens to come in a coleslaw bag in the produce section, so that's what I'm using. And if you want extra carrots, absolutely you can get shredded carrots. Okay, golden brown. After that happens, we're gonna put the shredded cabbage in, let that cook for a little bit, and then the carrots go in. Garlic is nice, beautiful, and golden brown. It's sizzling, the whole house smells good. Let's go ahead and put your cabbage in. Now, depending on how much you love cabbage, that's how much you're gonna put in, okay? But you see how much I'm using, okay? All right, now it's time to do something really fun. What we're gonna do, let's go ahead and make this amazing sauce that, you, listen, you're gonna be licking your fingers. Oh wait, when you are using sesame oil, you only use a little bit. You can see that little drip that I used. That's it, that's it. Don't get crazy ever with sesame oil because it can be very strong. But if you know how to use it, you're in good standing, right? Okay, we're gonna use some uh, soy sauce. No worries, because in the description below, I'm gonna tell you how much of everything you're gonna need, okay? All right. You're gonna need oyster sauce when you go to open it up. It's very, very thick, kind of interesting. Look at that, oh man, and it is packed with so much flavor. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's, this is one of my favorite flavors. Perfect, I'm happy with that, mm-hmm. Now, a lot of people kind of freak out a little bit when I say ketchup. Yes, you're gonna need ketchup. Is it gonna make it taste like ketchup? Nope, not at all. You're also gonna need one ingredient I almost forgot to tell you all about, but guess what? It's never too late. We're gonna use a couple of pinches of sugar. Sugar is gonna really make this like give it a umami flavor make them say mm, mommy where should get this recipe from one tablespoon of white granulated sugar let's stir the cabbage and the garlic around oh yes yeah. oh wait well, mm, mm, mm. look at this oh it smells so good this is the perfect time put your little extra carrot in there if you want you know a little bit more color i'm not gonna put a lot in because just to be honest I'm not a fan of carrots, but sometimes when making certain recipes, if I feel like a recipe needs it and I don't like it, I'm still gonna put it in there because I don't wanna deprive my family members from carrots if they like carrots, you know? All right, look at that, beautiful. Now we're gonna add three-fourths of a cup of your broth, any kind of broth. I just happen to have beef broth, and that's what we're gonna use. Oh, A little bit more ketchup. Give it a nice stir. And another ingredient I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and um, put with this, I'm going to put a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch into this so my sauce can kind of thicken up on those noodles. Tablespoon and a half. Now this is just a dinner table, tablespoon. You can use a measuring spoon if you like. Nice mix. Mix that cornstarch in. Got to taste the sauce. Make sure that's exactly what I'm looking for. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. That's it. Great flavors right there. Okay, so now is the perfect time. Make sure your shrimp was cleaned very well. Let's get it put in with the veggies. Come on, camera. Come with me. All right, just like so. Throw those babies in, and then you can put a little bit of salt and pepper and garlic powder onto the vegetables and the shrimp. 
That shrimp's getting seasoned very well. Those veggies are getting seasoned with the garlic powder, just like so in this manner. Yes, yes, and yes again. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cook those shrimp until they're nice and opaque color, you know, which is pink, kind of orangish in color. Doesn't take long. All that shrimp cooks up, now's the perfect time to put your bok choy in. Like I said, I love bok choy. Yes, I do. Look at that big piece. I need to get rid of that. All right, gorgeous. Stir fry it up. Turn that heat up on high. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Now I'm getting excited. Oh, ho, ho. Can somebody tell me. Somebody tell me in the comment section that you can see this, that you can see what's beginning to form with this recipe. And listen, feel free. Use chicken, use beef, use pork, whatever you love. That's what you can use. Look at that. Come in on. I can eat that just like so. I had to do it. I had to steal one of those shrimps, and it was so well seasoned. With that salt, pepper, garlic powder. Oh, wait. Take the noodles that you've drained. Take the noodles that you've drained. Let's get them in there, and we're going to stir them around. Okay? Oh, yes, there's nothing like a good rice noodle. Ever had pad thai before? If you have, um, this is that noodle. It's a rice noodle, and it's amazing. It's like the best texture noodle out there, right? Made of rice. Really interesting, right? So we're going to stir fry these noodles for a little bit with the vegetables and the shrimp before we put that amazing sauce in. And when it comes to the green onions, green onions go on at the last minute and they're gonna wilt a little bit. You know, we don't wanna put them in too early cause they'll turn into mush. But look at what we have. Okay, 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 you'll see, you'll see. I know everybody's like, I can't wait till the finishing till she's done. You're gonna get to see here in just a second. Oh. Now you'll begin to see already, once you begin to stir fry these noodles, how the noodles begin to wilt down. And here is when they really begin to cook up to its perfect consistency, or texture, I should say. Mmm, 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 mmm. I, I tell you one thing, I make all of these recipes, you know, on a daily basis, two videos, sometimes daily. And this recipe I am most excited for because when I make this, People go nuts over this recipe. If you wanted to, you can put a little bit of scrambled egg in here. And you just crack one or two eggs in the side of the pan, let it cook up, and then mix it right into this mixture here. Delicious, if you wanted to. Time to put the sauce in. So you might say right now, okay, Gina, so um, how much... Or, or how long did you cook the noodles before you put the sauce in? I'd like to say about seven minutes. About seven minutes, and that's it. Okay, turn the heat up on high. This sauce is gonna thicken up over those noodles and those vegetables, and you are gonna have some of the best noodles you ever tasted. Oh, ha, ha. Sauce is thickening up right before our own eyes. Look at this. The noodles are perfect texture. And now is the perfect time to put in the green onions. If you love green onions, we love them here at the Young's House. It's going to give a gorgeous color and a great taste, okay? But pretty much, once you put those green onions in, it's about time to turn the pan off, okay? Like I said, because you do not want to overcook those green onions and turn them into mush, okay? Ooh, this noodle dish you're going to love. Oh, when you make it. When you make it, be prepared. People are going to ask you, they're going to say, where the heck did you get this recipe from? And you're going to tell them, Jeannie Young, Jeannie Young showed me how. I'm going to present this recipe on a plate. And, you know, I'm going to plate this up. You're going to get to see how I like to present it. And I'm going to say an amazing prayer, and you all are going to get that first bite. If y'all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, heck, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. You know what? I was sitting here thinking, 
I have, and, and look, you can see how thick the sauce is getting. Have patience, look at this, oh! Mm, mm, mm. So what I'm doing, I just wanna taste the sauce right now, so that's, that's why I'm doing that. Mm, 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 mm. Woo, I ain't playing in here. Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you for this beautiful meal today. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Mm, mm, mm. Amen. Take another look. Take a look at how that sauce thickens up over those noodles. You're going to be slurping these noodles. Listen here. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. Listen, everybody. Don't be afraid to try something new. You just might like it. All right, let's go in. Ooh, let's go in. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, got the green onions on there. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat this. Guess what? Cause this is burning up hot right now. I don't wanna burn my lips off, do I? Heck no, I don't. <laughs> I'll sometimes do that for the video purposes. Burn those lips right off. Look at this. Mm, mm, mm. Take a bite. Let me know what you think about this recipe. Oh, I know it's too hot, I, but it's okay. I'm going to try it. Okay, let's set the camera up. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I don't just want to burn myself. Ooh, let's see. Mm, mm, mm. Let's do this. Mm, 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 mm. Yum, yum, and yum. Mm -hmm. Give me that shrimp, too. Look at that. So well seasoned. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. God bless you all. Good night. Mm, mm, mm.